Put an optimistic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to make us this problem and bitches they Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's D-Boy Classics, and with today's video, you can probably already tell from the title, I finally got my build to a 99 overall. You can see on the screen, I got the purple emblem, so that junk is looking clean, that junk is looking nice. I'm not going to lie to you, but besides from that, man, I'm not going to do too much talking. I'll make this video straight to the point. I know y'all just want to see the stats and the badge and so forth, and also the animation, so let's get into that. All right, y'all, so next up you see right here is going to my stats and my 99 overall glass can lockdown. You see, on the, all around the board, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, especially for my uh, finishing and defensive rebound stats. Multiple 99s, multiple 98s. So, but besides from that, we're gonna get into the individual stats. So, starting off with my close shot, you see right here, it is now 89. My driving lay was a 45. My driving dunk is a 69. My standard dunk is a 99, and my post hook is a 34. Going along with that, my offensive potential did increase a lot, obviously. So. Being able to boom on people more frequently, just going up on just contested layups, this and that, definitely pays off. But going to my shooting, my mid-range shot is now a 61, my three-point shot is a 37, my free throw is a 78, and my post fade is a 68. So, going along with this part, I'm able to shoot middies pretty consistently. I said I still learning my jumper, but besides from that, I'm able to pop them. Also with the post fades, going with the ISO plays, I'm able to hit those as well too. So, definitely. I'm going to be tuned in for the 2v2 and 1v1 videos in the future. Going on to the playmaking, my pass accuracy is a 40, my ball handling is a 32, and my post control is a 71. Once again, with the ISO potential, post control, I'm able to push people out of the way, especially with my high strength. So that's really all that I got to say for that. And lastly, going for my defense and rebounding, you can see right here, my interior defense is a 98. Both my perimeter and lateral quickness is a 44. My steal is a 71. And my block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound is a 99 stats. So, going on to the physical, you can see right here, my speed is a 61. My acceleration is a 55. My strength is a 99. My vertical is a 70. And obviously, my stamina is a 99. So, overall, getting to a 99 definitely pays off. And it does pays on the court. I'm gonna have some gameplay footage of that very soon. But besides from that, let's get on to the badges. Alright, y'all. So getting to the badges, you can see right here we'll start with the finishing. And my four finishing badges are Slithery Finisher, Posterizer, Fast Twitch, and Rise Up. Obviously, I've been playing with them here and there, but so far this badge load up to what I'm able to actually get has been pretty efficient for me, especially across like 5v5s, 3v3s, 2v2s, and pop. I didn't touch the 1v1s yet, but I'm assuming when I do get to 1v1s, this is going to be just as good. I'll probably put down like Postman Technician, but regardless of that, we're going to get into the shooting badges. All right, y'all, so going to the shooting badge, you can see right here, I do have catch and shoot on gold. And the reason behind that is I do want to space for to a degree. I see this year pretty much everybody can shoot, so I just want to be able to contribute to that. But shooting, being able to shoot a midi consistently does improve efficiently. So just in case I have a big man that like like to camp the paint, I'm able to get them out. And if I have like a what, an inside player such as a slash on my team, they're able to cut to the paint more successfully. I guess. That's besides from that, we're gonna get to the playmaking. All right, so going to the playmaking badge, you can see right here, I only have one, and it's a bronze, which is break starter. This is particularly for the 3v3s and 5v5s aspect of the game. So basically, when I do get the board, I'm just going to chug it, and whoever catches it, catches it, and they do what they need to do. So either it's going to be an easy layup, easy three, or just resetting the play, and everyone gets set up. So aside from that, we're going to get into the main badge, which is my defensive rebound. All right, y'all, so to wrap things up with the badges, and the most important badges for the build is the defensive rebounding ones. You can see right here, I have two gold and six Hall of Fame. To begin things off, I'm gonna start with my two gold badges, which are Box and Worm. So the reason why I have these badges on, quite obvious, just to get the rebounding position, or the dominant rebounding position. So basically, if my teammates are missing, I'm able to get them to give them a second chance points, whether it's on the, on, the, on the threes or the twos. Even for myself, I would get the board, I'll probably just take it up if need be. But besides from that, we're gonna get to the Hall of Fame badges. So you can see right here, I have Rebound Chaser, Run Protector, Hustler, Chase Down Artist, Intimidator, and Pogo Stick. And get to more detail on why I have these badges equipped, I'm gonna start off with Rebound Chaser, and that one's quite obvious as well. That's gonna combo with Box and Worm, and I'm able just to get the boards in general, just in case stuff we're going left when we're not hitting our shots. Next up is Rim Protector, and that one's also quite obvious too. Be able to get the faster takeover, 
highlights, the overall, just, <laughs> just, just mess up the other team's shot potential. That's all it is. Next up is Hustler. And with Hustler, that's a, that's a pretty unique badge, I ain't gonna lie. What I know is when I have it equipped is that for any loose balls, my character is definitely gonna be a little bit more faster or more efficient on maintaining or getting to that ball. So basically, if the ball is rolling on the court after somebody goes for a steal attempt, I'm able to get it. And also, too, on the rebounds, if someone's keep pushing up the ball, especially on the rebounding battles, chances are I'm gonna win that battle more frequently because the ball's gonna be in more favor and my character's gonna be more amped up to get the rebound. So definitely, it's a it's a good badge, especially for this year with the rebounding being really weird. So. I don't even know what to really say about that, but next up we got Chase Down Artist, and quite obvious that goes along that kind of as well with Run Protector. So just in case anything in the half court setting, I'm able just to get blocks more frequently and this block tendencies is a lot higher. That's really all that really is. And also too, if someone gets pot we get pot gets by me, excuse me. I'm able to uh just chase them down if they go with the dunk or layup. So next up we have Intimidator and everybody already knows. That's a crucial defensive badge. So, besides from that, pretty much everybody has that. Especially if I have it on, if you have it on Hall of Fame, it's pretty, pretty OP. I'm not going to lie to you. But, and lastly for Poe is Pogo Stick. And the reason why I have Pogo Stick is this also helps with rebounding coveries, obviously block attempts, and so forth. So, just in case I do get a little bit jumpy like a kangaroo, I'm able just to recover and get back on defense. And they don't really score, so <laughs> that's really all that is. But lastly, we're gonna get into the animations for my center build and then wrap up the video. All right, y'all. So to wrap this video up, I'm gonna get into my dunk and layup animations. You can see right here, my layups are still the same. I did keep the default big. I don't think I could really change it if I'm not if I'm mistaken. But regardless of that, we're gonna get into the dunks. So the first dunk that I have equipped is the rim grazes off one. I'm going into the next one is the basic one handers off one. The big man off one, one hand under the basket regulars, pro under the basket rim pulls, one hand under the basket athletic, the big man off two, the quick drops off two, and the big man tomahawks. And lastly, you already know it's the lead big man contact dunks, which is, that's really all that is I can really get for this build because he's a seven footer. I don't have the best driving dunk, but regardless of that, um, if y'all find the video, uh, pretty useful helpful whatsoever please leave a like and comment down below if you got any questions i will answer them and also as well if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you are hit that notification bell and stay tuned for upcoming videos i definitely got bangers on the way especially with gameplay footage of this build and also possible mixtape on the way so definitely stay tuned in that but regardless i'm gonna catch you on the next video man peace out